Nostalgia is a powerful tool. It has been done time and again. A studio would grab an older IP and try to bring it forward for a newer audience, sometimes succeeding and sometimes failing miserably. Throughout the years we've seen some pretty solid attempts like Robocop Rogue City recently, but more often than not there is something missing. Some of the key aspects of the core material have gone astray or the overall implementation is not up for snuff. So this year we got Gradizer The Feast of Wolves, a very close to home game in some aspects but sadly too far removed in others. Small Studio Android tried to bring Fleet to the small screen and here are my thoughts on it. Great Eyes of the Fist of Wolves is a semi-open world third-person action game that tries to fit a lot of stuff in a very budget title but doesn't really explore any of them. First glance, it is a pretty serviceable game that sadly veers too much on the Ugu side of things. And what I try to say with this is that if you remember Gridizer, it was a pretty adult anime. Enemies would get cut in half, Fleet would often get banged up, appearing bloody and hurt, Gridizer would get into tough spots, and the main villain was a menacing a hole. Everything screamed urgency. It felt like there were real stakes when it came to storytelling. This game, on the other hand, is very colorful, to a fault I might say, as you can see here, and the gameplay implementation divided into the two categories, the exploration on foot and what you see here, the space combat, is all very half-baked. It is understandable that you have to design a binary system for Gridizer, half of it being space battles of course, because the saucer form of the mech is also very recognizable. But if your gameplay consists of mainly combat situations, you have to offer something that goes a little bit deeper. The challenge bar here is very very low, the game is extremely easy. And combining this fact with the enemy presentation makes me think that they were going after a younger audience. Now when you see Gradizer, you imagine it's something kinda archaic. And truth be told, it is an anime from 1986. The people who watch Gradizer are now in their late 30s or early 40s. So why wouldn't the developer cater to those people, people who lived through the emergence of the original material and try to sell it to pretty much everyone? From a business standpoint it might sound like a sound decision, but it really doesn't work. And that is because you see a colorful kitty game whilst you are in a 40 year old person and you are less than surprised because you expect this one chance at reviving Gridizer to be more gritty and darker and if you are a really young person it's not as flashy, interesting or intricate as other offerings on the market. Why play this and not Nier Automata for example? It doesn't make much sense to go for an everyone palette when you have a budget title in your hands that was obviously designed to appeal to people who have known what Gradizer is for the past 30 plus years. On top of everything else, the voice acting in the available languages is not doing it for me whatsoever. All characters including Fleet, sadly, sound very amateur and the artwork that accompanies every single conversation is bad in most cases. The characters are recognizable but Everything seems cheap, seems like they gave the base material to an artist and said make something cartoony that looks something like this. And it doesn't do the core aspects of the game justice, it doesn't recreate the feel you were getting from most of the characters. The game controls pretty admirably, it is as I said earlier a third person action brawler kind of game for the most part. 
and you can dodge, punch, kick and use some of Gradizer's signature weapons, sometimes to great effect and sometimes you have to keep punching spongy enemies that will take longer than ideal amount of time to be taken out of commission. Problem with taking enemies out of commission is that you see these flashy little explosions every single time something gets defeated and there is no real grit to it as I mentioned earlier. In case of bosses, you might end up punching and kicking an enemy for the longest amount of time but all the cool stuff really happens in the cutscene that follows the fight. You can grab enemies, you can hit them or you can attack them from range with a couple of available attacks but it always feels like you're hurting a mannequin not some sort of dangerous extraterrestrial on top of everything else you get prompts over the heads of enemies that pretty much tell you what to use as you can see here the harking a hit or an ability in order to go through their defenses everything feels very orchestrated there is no real ability to mix and max stuff and when you can use pretty much anything you want the availability and effectiveness of all your tools doesn't make choice a really better than choice why is just how you want to mix things up for the action to look a little bit flashier no devil may cry rating system or anything like that here it's either you win or you lose and you more often than not win because the game is not challenging enough. To complement the action a bit, the game allows you to upgrade Gradizer with various materials, introducing grind to an already kinda tedious experience, but it all feels like overkill since enemies go down pretty easily, albeit sometimes very slowly, you don't need such a large repertoire of attacks. It is fun service because it's Gradizer and you want his tools to be available but apart from that there's no real reason for having them. You can implement them either at specific points in the game during missions or when you visit the base in between them. A base as simply designed and utilitarian as you can probably imagine. Gradizer The Fist of Wolves is a really simple title tied to a 40 euros price tag doesn't handle the core material with that much grace as we would have hoped and doesn't really hit the notes that the original anime did. Every single part of this game is serviceable but not exciting or nostalgic enough to either pull in the new people or really make it work for the older folks. I had a good time with it when I played after I had woken up and was enjoying my morning coffee because of how easily I was able to turn off my brain and just go through the simple combat mechanics for about an hour or two. Then it became abundantly clear that I wasn't getting anything out of the experience and switched to something else. If you really like Gradizer and are one of the old geezers like me who really wanted to see Fleet become a playable character in a good video game, wait until it's on sale and play for a few hours so you get the kicks out of it. As it stands, it's not really worth the asking price and that's really saddening to say because man oh man, this is a fine looking mech right here. Thank you for watching guys, subscribe to this channel and check out my main channel Mr. File where we cover all kinds of things since Firefox Machina is focused on mecha stuff and we will only be doing games like this here for the foreseeable future. Until next time be well and stay shiny, shiny like chrome. Cheers!